Hey guys, how's it going? We are back again with another video of my Let's Play of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, what I wanted to do today is I want to do a little bit of building. It's been a while, so let's get started. So, what I have been doing is I have been uh, filtering everything out of this here. So, you may have noticed that I've got all of my workstations pretty much gutted out bar this one here. So, what I'm doing with this is I'm just sort of filling up uh, the iron here so I can get rid of this clay. So if I were to pick up that forge and relocate it, I'm gonna lose what's inside. So I may as well do something about it and just use what's there. But for today, we will head downstairs and as you can see, the base here sort of um, copped a bit of a pounding here. Not a lot, but enough for me to warrant to do something about it. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm going to, ooh, I need some cobblestone. Would would help if I actually had um, the right resources here. So let's go ahead and open up this and grab that. That should be all that we need for today's exercise. Um, I won't be able to fully upgrade everything, but this will be enough for me to do what I need to do with it. So let's just fix that up. Very good. I don't think anyone else needs a upgrade here. Very good. Anyway. So what I've been working on, as you can see, I've got enough fuel here to last a, loft, uh, a lifetime here. Um, what I do want to do is I just want to get rid of some of these things that I've picked up here. So we really won't need it for today's exercise. So let's get rid of that and that. I think we should be right with all that I've got here. All good. So as you can see, I've got a nice little setup here. So this is all of my where all the magic happens, so to speak. Um, let's go ahead and fix that up too and what I will be doing is I'll be dropping a few things in my respective forges keep the paper because I'm going to need it later on um, can I pop that in there very good so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to craft up a few other bits and pieces as well um, just so I can get the forges running at max capacity finally I've got myself a level 5 um, steel shovel and I've got a couple more cement mixes so we are getting some um, progression here happening which is awesome which is actually really good what I've been wanting to do for the longest time and there we go awesome so I'll have four cement mixes now to fire everything up I'll have some storage here I'll have some storage here and I'll have all my forges going like crazy uh, two workbenches here. I don't think I'll need anything more than that to be honest with you and I may consider in adding a second uh, chem station here. So that's pretty much all my workstations sort of cut out once they're, all, um, once they're all sort of firing I guess. So they'll have their work cut out for themselves. And yeah, so pretty much what I want to do today is I wish to um, make sure that I have maximum um, protection on this base. So it has been pointed out well i have pointed this out to myself where um it's either a do i um push everything all the way up to reinforce concrete and um prepare uh, repair the base periodically or do i just put some active uh standard defense which i'm about to do with you guys right now so i'm thinking about the latter today and that's what we're going to do so the way that this works is that we're going to make a bit of a little force field kind of like a little force field and that's the way I'm going to sort of roll with it as soon as I get the right shape and I just had it I hate when I do that I do that every single time and if we flick it over to the right part there we go cool and then from there once we once we've got the original down we can copy the rotation pop it up there and then I can do that like that and then we can do that like that and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing so this will effectively give me um, the ability to or well, I won't be able to jump up of course and neither will the zombies but the zombies will never be able to get up to this far anyway so this will give us um, maximum um, the defense and this way whoever so whatever zombies try to um, roll past or they try to sort of break in all they're going to do is pretty much this they're just going to jump up on it and they're just going to fall down they're just going to jump up on it and they're just going to fall down and that's all that they're going to do 
And what I was thinking about is I think I might do it. I thought about it and I think I will do it. So I'm going to break the first part here all the way through. Well, probably aside from this part here because I've got plans for this. Anyway, um, and then on, on either side just to complete the force field of the base. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Well, the defense. And then I'm going to be making a, um, a force field over here. You know what? I'm just going to get out of this guy's motion here. And I'm going to do something with this here. So I've decided to do that. And this shall be a um, well defensed base. So that's what we're going to sort of do today. So if I can continue on and just do all what that I need to do with this. This shouldn't actually take me too long to be honest. And it's a very quick and effective way of hooking up your defenses. And that is that part there and then I can go back this way and plop all this together and look I can actually upgrade these as well so it is just flagstone so this will probably go all the way up to um, probably concrete I don't know if I want to do reinforced concrete with it um, or should I just leave it as cobblestone I have no idea yet so I figured I might just um, do it that way and then we'll take it from there whatever whatever works but I'm going to have a layer of protection anyway, regardless of the fact. So I'm not going to be, you know, completely defenseless or anything like that. Or, you know, I sh should I be having a, a stronger defense? You know, I should be fine. I've done this uh, quite a number of times now in my other worlds and things like that to know that it, it, it will work. So there won't be any sort of problem. I've done this on a, on a larger scale compared to what I'm doing it now. So this won't be much of an issue. In fact, I feel like this will be a lot more manageable because it is a smaller sort of footprint that I'm dealing with here. So, yeah, I don't think I'll have any sort of problems with that anyway. So, as we sort of continue on, and I'm just going to plop all this through. This will be one complete side, and I've done this in a matter of minutes, which is great. If I can get to the end here, very good. And then we do this fella. Oh, no. And the first mistake of the day, of course I did. Alright, where's my pickaxe? There we go. You sort of get carried away. And, and it's more or less that you just forget things, which I've done. But that's okay. So let's just race back this way. And do this. There we go. And once you sort of get the, the motion of it, you can just pretty much hold down the arrow, the directional key and you just keep clicking away and done. So that's one part. And then now what we can do from here is I'll just continue my rotation. And as soon as I get to the right rotation, and we are nearly there. And I shouldn't have done that. Anyway. So when you do that, you sort of get excited. <laughs> and you um, kind of just drop things for the sake of dropping things. But it's all well and good here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, in fact, break this out. Because this is actually not going to be needed anymore to a point. So I might just get rid of that. And I think that should be enough. Because what I'll do is I'll be able to actually walk up the um, uh, this uh, this incline here, and I'll still be able to jump up and get up into that. So that shouldn't be an issue for me. And look, don't get me wrong. Um, there's, and yeah, don't worry. I should say uh, zombies will not uh, get up that far. So we should be right with that. So there we go. Well, that that worked out to be perfect. And then I'm going to stop it there. And we'll continue it up from here, 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 and just can keep going along as you do. And just grab a few of these and do that as well. And we'll just continue over here and keep pushing on. So it's starting to take shape. So don't worry about the corners, guys. We will sort out the corners in a moment. So that won't, that will be the last thing that we, we will actually do. So we won't have to worry about that. There we go. So as you can see, it's sort of, it's coming to life. 
And even though that we're doing it with flagstone, I'm not upgrading the flagstone. I really don't need or see the need to upgrade it with flagstone. I mean, to be honest with you, I probably should be saving my flagstone and using, um, uh, what do you call it, wood frames. Because it'll just work in the same way, but I've got everything out of here at the moment. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue on with the flagstone as it is. So, we'll just continue on, continuing on. Okay, and let's just plop all these there. What I might end up doing is, let's just make some more. I think I won't need more than that. Definitely not. So, maybe let's make... make 150. I don't think I'll need any more than 150 as it is anyway, but we've got it there anyway, so it's all good. Okay, and just do like that. Okay, and here. Oop. Okay, cool. So we are making a bit of progress with this, which is good, and I like the fact that everything's sort of lining up where, I don't know, uh, where these little, um, where these colour tiles were, and it sort of uh, goes right up to that, anyway, I don't know, that's just me, I just like that. Um, here you really can't do much about that, but anyway, what can you do? Alright, so we'll go to the side here, and we're, we're pretty much nearly three quarters of the way through, believe it or not, or not so actually not doing too badly with this okay and that's our the little base here and we just got to sort of rotate this till we get to the right angle of course here we go I just had it I literally just had it it is so annoying every time I do this all the time all the time there we go cool and then we just grab this fella here, copy that rotation and resume. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you've got a horde coming through or anything like that, even even in fact on horde night, if you've got this equipped up to um, like concrete or even that of reinforced concrete, especially up to where I am, get, uh, my game stage, um, you wouldn't have a problem in using this as a, you know, as a small line of defense. It'll defend the base. I mean, if you've got other contingencies in place like, um, like automatic turrets and things like that then obviously you know it'll give you a better um, chance of survival of course and because eventually they, they will start to sort of break on this but they don't break on this as much as what you think they would and I guess that's the biggest thing that I sort of um, I sort of look at is just the the return on um, on defense versus you know the the amount of resource and investment that you put into it so I, that's why I kind of like this um, this setup and this was another um, uh, Jewoodle, um inspired creation. So yeah, he did, well, he's the first one and only one that I've seen has actually sort of used this formula. So yeah, I like it that much that I've used it and, and incorporated it for myself. So yeah, it works a treat. So even if you just leave it on, on cobblestone, even if you just get a bit of cobblestone to sort of begin with, um, it, it, whoops. Let me just um, grab half of that and drop that in there. It, it works and I, I, I love it. Um, I want to copy shape. There we go. And let's go back to copy rotation and continue on. There we go. Cool. So we are nearly done this side here. Plop. And we need to do that. Okay. So yeah, I thought about the, the front of the base and the only reason why I'm going to do it the way that, you know, um, that I'm going to do it today is, uh, uh, sorry, originally what I wanted to do was, I was just going to barricade this with all um, iron spikes. God, that thing is so sensitive, it is so annoying. I'm just going to hide here. Initially I was going to put all um, iron spikes and just sort of barricade it up, but to me it'll just look very janky, it'll look very, I don't know. I wasn't for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to break open this this first part here, and we're just going to, sort of going to build it up. I might, in fact, break the second block, and I'm thinking about doing that only because they may, well, the zombies may get up to it and start breaking things. I don't know. We'll leave it as it is, 
but I'll just break up the first box and oh, sorry uh, the, the first block over here and then this way um, we'll see how we go we'll, we'll you know I'll, I'll sort of have to um, uh, monitor the situation with that and then once that's all been done I can you know continue on and um, finish it all off what I do need to do is I need to actually come on I need to do a relocation with that as well so I need to find myself a wire tool and we'll pop up over here and I should have one line about somewhere there we go cool so wire tool can go there and I'm gonna need to disconnect that and and don't, not to worry let's test this out now so if I've got a horde of zombies running after me and this is my quickest way in I can just go all the way up and up I go and then these guys here will not get anywhere near this ladder here so yeah just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea um, and what I'm sort of thinking about anyway let's get this wire tool and there you go see what I mean you've got these zombies here and all that they're doing is they're just knocking on the wall here let's get them to come around come on guys because I, I want to demonstrate this for you guys as well come on yes oh yeah come through Come on. I don't know if it's a horde of zombies to be honest with you. Even though that it's not complete, we'll we'll test out the theory as it as it as it sits, as it stands kind of thing. Come on guys. Come on, big mama. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Don't get left behind. Come guys. Is there anyone else? It's only just you two. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, I just want you guys to come together, come, 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 don't, don't hit those just yet, I want you to come over here, okay, alright, so, think of this as a horde knight or knight in general, here they come, they're nearly, they're nearly getting me, they're nearly gonna get me, they're nearly gonna get me, oh wait, here we go and then so in theory what they should be doing is they should be just jumping up on that as you can see what this zombie is doing here okay now they shouldn't be doing that and only the only reason why that they're knocking on the sides here is essentially is I haven't got the force field in place not yet so I will be doing that that will happen okay thank you for your participation guys thank you very much and did they yeah they did see and they did hurt a little bit okay shouldn't have upgraded that but that's okay don't have any of that okay very good cool yeah so essentially they'll just keep jumping up and down up and down and that's all that they're going to do once I fix up this area here what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing probably about four or five deep of a hole box it out and then this way and I'll, I'll run arrow slits um, on the on the ground of that so this way they see that as a hole and they will basically walk away from it they, they can't get past it for whatever reason all right cool so we've got a wandering horde here ready to annoy us here so let's go ahead and deal with these guys because well I've got no choice thank you you and you uh, is there anyone else around here that's wanting to annoy us? No? Alright, cool. Okay. Alright, so let's just... So what I want to do here is... I need to work out how to take that out, but I don't think I can. To be honest with you. Actually, let me just interact with it. Yeah, I don't have the, the option to do that. So, the only way I can get rid of that is basically to break it down. Is that right? I always thought you can pick these things up. Alright, well, that's, that's what's going to happen. Didn't really want to do that, but... I was left with no choice. So we're just going to bust open all this. 
and from here I'll be able to go ahead and complete everything up. So I'm not going to bore you guys with uh, making the, the hole and whatnot and showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm just going to show you the complete product. What I might do is I'll complete one and on the other end I'll just have the hole there. I think that might work out. I think that would be the best way of doing it. And then this way you can see two things. You'll see the final product and then you'll see the um, the I don't know, 75% completed version of it, I guess. I think that might be a good way of doing it. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Awesome. Cool, cool. Alright, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this part here. Well, I'm going to have to break it down. This part I'll have to break, this block only. It's only flagstone, which is fine. But I don't think the guys will be able to jump up. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I don't see it being a problem. Should be fine. Alright, come on. Come on. Let's not... Let's get this on the first go. Thank you. Okay, first go. Done. Okay, there's that. Okay, and then we've got this fella over here. Boom, and boom. And then... This one. Just go ahead and copy the rotation. Okay, and on this side as well. Does it look weird? I don't know. I feel that it looks weird. What I might do is I might just end up breaking up all that and just making it a little bit higher. Yeah. I'll think of, I'll figure something out. I think I might I think I've got something in mind to remedy that and I will see if I can have that part sorted out. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay. Done. Okay, and just the process of going all along this way. Oop. Still got the pillar here. I'll, I'll end up keeping those pillars. If they break down, you know, it's not the end of the world. I think I'll be able to look after that. That shouldn't be a problem. And for aesthetic purposes, I think I'll just keep it anyway. You know, you got to be all about that aesthetic. Oops. I knew I was going to make that mistake. Anyway, quickly fix him up. There we go. Thank God you got a I've got a level five uh, pickaxe here. So much easier. And now that I've got the level five, um, uh, what do you call it, level five shovel, it's going to be a lot better as well for digging purposes. And there we have it. So Popham Hills, pretty much redesigned, or you know. Um, reimagined by me, fully boarded up. Zombies are going to come in, they're going to try and jump up on this thing, and they're just going to either hit that, and th they're going to hit that. Okay, so I'm going to have to definitely break that out, and um, I'll, I'll break it out from here as well. But I've got a plan with that as well, so see if that works out for us. But we'll see how we go. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that part there, and then now what, what we want to do is we want to. I want to grab some of that and drop it into that and I just want to now change the shape so there's two more shapes that we need we need that and then let's go over to this and then we need uh, this guy here okay so oop, I just had it too and to be honest with this I can just go back to simple rotation because that's all you're going to need and what I need here is one and two and with this I just need simple rotation boom and then here keep forgetting that I do need to do this part here as well Okay, let's just do that, and I need 
the other two. Actually, and potentially I'll need a couple more blocks, of course. Just, you know, putting it all out there, I guess. Alright. So, what I need is I need to go back to that. And where are you? Where are you? Okay, and then this one here I shall need for that. Cool. And then, easy enough, all that I need to do here is just copy that one, pop him there, and then do the exact same thing with that and copy that. So, yeah. Always with these cornering pieces here, they always a little bit finicky, but once you sort of got it, you can just sort of fix up the difference here, and then boom, and then that's your complete corner. So notice how it's all flush, doesn't look bad at all. And then pretty much we're just going to rinse and repeat, do the exact same thing, guys. So. I just have to make sure that I remember to pop that up there and then I just need to do that and then with him and then I just have to copy the rotation for that and then copy the rotation for that and I should be near enough Oop. boom boom and then boom and then oh like, like a perfect little jigsaw puzzle and then that should, in theory, prevent any more zombies uh, tackling the this base. Because it should be all good from here on out. And then I can do that with that. And then all I have to do is just copy this rotation and do that. And then do the same with that. And there you go. Plop. Plop. And... Oops, and not do that. Where is that axe? So you guys get the idea. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. We've got the final part to do here, but you know, I don't think you need to see it for a fourth time. So um, it's probably a good time to go ahead and leave it here today. I think we spent enough time on this here. Simple little base um, defense structure that you can put in place, uh, depending on how big or how small you want to put it, entirely up to you. But you need to make sure that you've always got a standard block, two block high, and then you can go up to four high with that inclined setup. And then this way, zombies will not and should not um, hassle you whatsoever. So, yeah, let me know what you thought about this one here in the comments section, guys. Um, is that something that you guys oop, um, like? Do you enjoy it? Um, let me know. And, yeah, drop a comment down there, hit the subscribe button, like as always always and hit the notification bell icon if you guys haven't done so already but this is going to be i don't know version 2.1 of my base so let me know what you think anyway i am out of here take it easy and i will catch you next time